everyone, welcome back to another Make It Monday video. My name is Kieran and this is the channel Thrifted Living. I've been sharing a lot of craft room organization videos and I've received so many great comments. And the one thing that I heard was when I shared the video about that rotating craft room organizer, I'll make sure to link that video above and I will also link a picture here so you guys can see what I'm talking about. I received a lot of comments that people liked it, but it was something that would have to be sort of placed in one part of your house and just left there. I was trying to think about something even smaller that would be helpful in organizing. Mainly what I'm thinking is for crafting supplies, but you could definitely utilize it for other things. So what I thought about was actually using a bucket and creating a traveling craft room organizer using a bucket. So let me share with you what I'm thinking. I went to Dollar Tree and I got this small bucket. They had, I think, two or three different colors. I chose the gray. And what I love about it is that it has this handle, which is going to be like the critical part of making this more functional. Able to just use the handle and have everything carried around with you like that. It's also not huge, which I think is kind of what people are looking for a solution that's sort of in the middle of something too small and also something too big. Then I got some of these bags. What I love about them is that they have the big pocket, which is right here inside of the zipper, so you can put stuff in there. But then they also have three smaller pockets on the front. I'm going to be using those. My goal is on the outside of the bucket as some storage. Inside the bucket, I have this organizer, which I actually used as a utensil organizer but I was thinking that maybe I could take it, place it in the bucket, and then be able to organize scissors, pens, pencils, things like that. I also have this entire Dollar Tree tote of different organizers. I have some binder clips. And then I did buy, when I went to pick up the bucket, I did buy some of the bigger paper um, binder clips. So let's get started and see how this goes. I have no idea, but that's kind of the theme of my Make It Monday videos. Let's figure it out together. Let's see if it's actually going to work. What I'm going to start with is the organizing of the outside. So I know I want to use these bags right here. I'm gonna try these little binder clips. I have some bigger ones too. I could unzip it so that it's open. I wonder if these are big enough. Oh, okay, so these bigger binder hooks actually fit right over the side. I might even just cut the handles off and then use the binder hooks to keep it on the side. But I'm gonna have it so that the pockets are on the outside. If I do it like this with the, the handle being a little bit longer, sticking down, then I can still zip it. What it's really attached to is the, the, um, the handle. The binder clips in the bigger size definitely work. So if you're gonna try this, get the bigger size. So then, I'll still be able to zip that. I might even take a little dot of hot glue to attach it like that so it's a little less like sticking out kind of like that. I think I'm gonna cut this, this front string off or the front handle off like that. I think I'll be able to fit three on. One, two, three. I'm going to try to attach two more. I think two more should be the right amount. So I'm gonna cut this part in the middle again. And I have it lined up pretty close to the spout right there. So I'm gonna to try to do that for this part. Taking the binder clip, putting it on here, and then pushing the back part down. And then I'm gonna be taking little dots of glue on the front end, or on the two sides. I'm gonna cut this handle off. I think I can fit one more on. It'll be close, but let's see. And I'll get out two more binder hooks. Perfect, yep. This fits exactly three. I'm going to take the binder hook again and only hook to the handle. Don't try to hook the zipper because then you won't be able to use the zipper part. So we've got the three, the three different bags on here. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna put little dots of glue right here to sort of keep it attached a little more closely. And I think I'm gonna do the same thing down here so that it's not kind of like flowing like this with a little more control. I'm gonna put the little dot of glue right on the bag and then I'm gonna put it right up in this little corner, just like that. And give it a second to adhere nicely. All right, good, so that one's adhered. I'm going to put this little dot of glue here 
and then again glue it up in this corner i'm going to try to open this as far as it'll go just to see how wide this is so this is about how wide the bag is when you open it all the way so you could definitely get a lot of stuff organized in there and now i'm going to glue the bottom parts like right here i think and then right there i took all of the sides and I hot glued all of the corners and then one dot of hot glue in the middle. And then I, I've opened it to see what the inside looks like, how much space you have. And then you're able to put stuff in here, but you can also put stuff in the side pockets. So now let's try gluing the other ones. So now I'm going to work on the middle. I'm hoping to be able to organize yarn in the middle. As you can see, it's very wobbly. I know when I have the yarn in here, it's also going to stabilize it a little bit more, but yeah, I'm just trying to figure out the best way to do that because I wanna make sure that it's stable. Last time I used some of this foam, they're like foam knee pads from Dollar Tree. I used some of this to keep it a little more secure in the bottom. And then I wonder if I can just take it Oh, that was a lot easier than using the scissors. I'm gonna try to put this in the bottom. Now I'm gonna try to cut it down the middle because then I'm gonna take the two sides and put them on either side of this. I have the two sides, let's see. It might be a little too small now. But I can also put more of the foam in there. It is a little wobbly. I'm just actually taking the little extra pieces of foam and I'm just filling up the bottom to try to keep this as sturdy as possible. Let me take the camera and show you what it looks like inside. It's not the prettiest thing inside, but I think it's going to work. So I took one of those foam knee pads and I kind of cut it up and I have it sort of tucked all over this space in the bottom to try to keep this a little more stable because I've tried hot glue before and it's not strong enough for this. So I think this is going to work. What I'm going to put in here is yarn. So I think it won't really interfere with that at all. And I think we're almost ready to start filling it up. I have some items that I'm going to try to organize in this crafting organizer. All right, so I'm able to put four bundles of yarn in here, which like I thought was really set up, setting this up nicely. So it's not rocking or anything like that, which is nice. So I'm also going to put some knitting needles in here. I am learning to knit. Um, my mom had taught me a little bit when I was a kid, but I am trying to knit more. I'm like angling them down toward the middle. So they will also be secured by the yarn as well. It fits over the top of the knitting needles. Let's see if I can put one more set in. I think I am going to turn it outward like this because the knitting needles aren't really fitting in there. I'm wondering what I could put on the outside. Now I'm going to start filling up the bags. I have some fabric paint that I think could be nicely organized in here. And I thought maybe the bigger pouch would be good for this. Maybe I could put some pens in this side, some of these different like planner pens. I have some planner pens right here wonder what I could put in the back of this pocket. Maybe some planner stickers? Maybe I will try some of these like smaller stickers. Here, I have a whole set of hot air balloons. And these are just some ideas as to how I would use it, but I would love to hear what you guys think. Sticker pack in here. I'm starting to think that maybe I'll take this off just because I don't really know that it's helping with anything. And I don't know what I would put in here. Now I'm going to zip it. So this is kind of like the planner section. I realized I also have, I'm gonna take these glue sticks out for now. I also have some fabric markers right here that I got at a thrift store. So I'm gonna open the box and then I'll have them with my other fabric items like the fabric paint. Then I could just put them right here. I have a fabric paint section. I have to fill that one up still. This is a planner section with markers and then some stickers behind it. I have one more section. I need to try to figure out what I'm going to organize in that section. For this last section, I'm going to use it for items for coloring. I have twistable colored pencils. I have twistable crayons. 
maybe I could put some just some regular pencils in here. I'm gonna put the colored pencils in the back. Now close this part up. I think it might be better to take the twistable color pencils and put them on the outside because they are a bit longer, which is making it a little difficult. I'm gonna put the twistable crayons inside because they're smaller. Now I'm going to do the colored pencils outside. I'm gonna just put a couple pencils, just mechanical pencils. Then I will start with the colored pencils. Coloring section, planner section, fabric paint section knitting section now to decide what to do with this thing i don't know i don't think i just don't think it's going to work for this i am going to take these off i just feel like it doesn't there's not a clear way that i want to use them if you guys have any ideas feel free to share it with me how you would use this this part in particular i just don't think it's going to work so i'm just going to take it off so I just finished this organizer and I absolutely love it. It turned out so great and it was so easy to do. So let me share with you all of the different features of it. In the top in the middle, I have this paper towel organizer. I have some knitting needles organized. I have some different types of yarn in here, sort of like my knitting section. The one thing is you do have to make sure that you have enough clearance to be able to get the handle like this and it works perfectly. Now, the parts on the side are the ones that I really, really love. Absolutely love how these pockets organized. I think that they work so perfectly on this. So I have three different pockets. This first pocket is my coloring section. I have twistable crayons and colored pencils in this part of the organizer. I also have a couple mechanical pencils right here. Then the next section, I have planner supplies. So I have different types of planner markers on the front. And then in the pocket, I have some planner stickers. In the last section I have right here is a fabric paint section. These are fabric painting markers right here. And then inside I have some of, I think it's called like 3D fabric paint. So I have that on the inside too. So those are the three pockets that I have on the side. And one of the best features is that it has a handle. It's not that big, it's super portable, it's not super heavy either, and you could organize it and customize it for whatever you think would be great to organize. I like how the pockets are able to be fully utilized. As you can see, it's not like they're sitting flat over here, they are definitely full with crafting supplies. I'm really, really happy with this, and it was really easy to do, and it can be customized so easily. That's it for today's Make It Monday video. I hope you enjoyed seeing how I created this portable crafting tote. I am so happy with how it organized. I think it's so beautiful and there are so many different ways that you can use this. In the comments below, let me know how you would use this. Let me know what kind of different items you would organize in this. And if you try this DIY, make sure you share pictures with me on Facebook at Thrifted Living or on Instagram at Thrifted Living YouTube. I would love to share your pictures of your finished product in my future videos. So please make sure that you follow me on those accounts and share with me the pictures of what you made. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye.